my name is Jasmine and I'm a recovering alcoholic addict. October 22nd, 2012, I had a heroin and Xanax overdose. The lack of oxygen and lack of blood flow to my brain and spine killed nerves in my spine leaving me a quadriplegic. It also caused short term memory loss. That is why I read from my iPad. I also suffered from hearing loss due to the overdose. You know, the first page of my story seems so bright. I grew up with a hardworking mother and a functional alcoholic father. I was an only child. I was happy, loving, fun to be around, if I do say so myself. Um, at age eight, mom and dad divorced because of dad's drinking habits. I didn't understand how alcohol could have ruined my family. I remember going to a divorce class where there was about 10 kids in there and I couldn't figure out how they were just sitting there watching the documentary they were, oh my gosh, on divorce. I was all bit out of shape, snot bubbles coming out my nose, I couldn't breathe, I had to leave the room, I mean talk about anxiety. Once I picked up on my dad's drinking habits, I didn't understand why he wouldn't quit so we could have our family back. I was 14 when I drank and got drunk for the first time. I understood then why he wouldn't want to quit. That one sip of burning alcohol brought me serenity, security, happiness. I was on top of the world. Drinking became a weekend hobby. At age 14, I was caught in and arrested for a runaway. This was my first time out of many times I was sent to juvenile. From age 15 to 16, berries and cherries, or cops, were busting me at every party. The juvenile system locked me up because I did, never kept me locked up because I had good grades in school. They would let me, go, they would let me out on house arrest to attend. I was 17 when I had my wisdom teeth pulled out. I was prescribed hydrocodone. This was the first taste of drugs. I was arrested again for underage drinking and sentenced to Fairbanks Rehab, where I would spend the next four months. At this time, I was in denial. I knew I was an alcoholic, but I was like, ain't no one gonna tell me how to live my life. So a month after I got out of rehab, I was arrested again for underage drinking. The judge sentenced me to day reporting for three months where I would go to the juvenile from four to nine. I had eight weekends unless I got a job. I finally completed this program and got off probation on my 18th birthday. Once I turned 18, I started taking pills like Xanax and Percocets. I experimented with cocaine and ecstasy. Shortly after, after I graduated high school, I was arrested three more times for underage drinking battery, disorderly conduct, so on and so forth. I did four and a half months in Johnson County two different times. The last time I left jail, I said, until the next time. I didn't know the next time I was not going to be in yellows. Now I'm going to be in normal clothes, given my testimony. About two months after my last day in jail, my father passed away because of drinking. He developed cirrhosis of the liver. And two days after we buried him, I almost lost my life to addiction. This would be my third overdose after I got out of jail. I just didn't realize I was playing tug of war with my life. This was the aftermath of my destructive path. When I was, when I woke up at the Holiday Inn, so I thought, my mom had to ex explain to me I was in the hospital because of a heroin and a Xanax overdose. I was 33 minutes without a heartbeat on that dark day. I should be dead, but God has a different plan for me. Amen? I was in a coma for 10 days. When I woke up, I couldn't talk because I had a tube down my throat and a feeding tube in my nose which I thought was a tampon. Uh, this was keeping me alive. After two to three weeks, they put me on the trach. They put a trach in my neck. That's when I said, okay, let's go home. But I couldn't get up because I was paralyzed. 
Two months later, I went to RHI, an inpatient hospital, for therapy. They got me off the trach, which doctors said would never happen. They got me off the oxygen and feeding tube. They got me off, um, I'm giving them the credit right now, but it was all in God's hands. Also, I decided to come off all narcotics because I knew there was something bigger and better for me. I've hit rock bottom. I received Patient of the Year awards with several others. I was def it was definitely a good feeling. Today I go out and give my testimony about how drugs can affect you and how good God is. We are going to Project Walk Atlantis in June. It's an intense physical therapy faculty. I am so excited I can feel my legs. I know I will walk one day because God himself revealed it to me. I attend Celebrate Next. Recovery on Mondays and Wednesday nights. I'm kicking it in life. I'm kicking ass in life. I am doing good. I feel good. I look good and hot. Dang it, people like me. Now, I am an achiever today. Thank you for moving mountains and allowing me to share my story. Obviously, I have a Facebook page, Jasmine's Journey, directed by God. Follow me on there, share my story, make like a sports bra, and support your girl.